2017 here in Austin, Texas. This lady sitting next to me, you've seen her on the show before. <laughs> but now we got her here one on one. The awesome Miss Lauren Land. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Um, Merry belated Christmas. Same to you. <clears throat> Thank you. Happy New, Year. happy New Year. I know we have one more day to go. Yes. We have one more day of 2017. I don't, you know, <clears throat> 2017 was good to me. I'm not going to be yeah. people that say it was bad. Like, yeah. some crazy stuff that happened. It certainly it was wasn't good. 2016. 2016 was, I think, bad for everybody, but... Nobody came out of 2016, right? No, Nobody. and a lot of people didn't come out of 2016, no. so... <laughs> yeah, I'm like, hey, I'm you, I'm here. 2017 was good. It was good for me. I agree, and I'm already kind of setting things up for 2018 that I'm really excited about, so... Uh, no, I can't talk about it. You know, you want to know? Want to know the three letters? Why I can't talk about it? I'm sure you know. Yeah, it's probably NBA. Is it? Yeah. It's NBA. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you can see what I know, just a little bit, you know. Yeah. Yeah. But no, I'm very excited for 2018. It'll be a great year. Sweetness. Yeah, and I appreciate you letting me scare the crap out of Lucy in your last interview. That is so amazing. You know we're not editing that. Out. Oh no, I hope not. Yeah. I was hoping not. Yeah. Lucy not get edited out. <laughs> <laughs> Lucy had the best reaction. If you're watching this video first, there's another video you're going yes! to see from this event. You got to go watch Lucy Christian's interview. See, that's how you reel them in. Yeah. You got to save a surprise for them in another interview and say, hey, if you really want a big surprise, go check out this other interview. Yeah. That's the way to reel them in. Yeah, so. that was unexpected. <laughs> there's even a, I can't wait to look back at that video because there's a part where it's like, there's a white woman yelling behind me. <laughs> and I'm standing there. <laughs> <laughs> shot though because I don't know how far you guys are panned out but no, we'll see. You had me, but I'm pretty sure that's the part where you see me go, ah, I'm <laughs> my spirit leaves. <laughs> oh, oh my stars. <laughs> I just caught the vapors. <laughs> <laughs> the vapors. <laughs> so, yeah, that's in there. That's going to be there. I can't wait to see that video. It's just going to be, Vicky is real scary. Yes, he is. <laughs> I, I scare man. I scare men apparently. Yeah. <laughs> this man, I was not prepared for that. So how you, how's the whole year? I mean, you stayed pretty busy. It's been a crazy year, and next year's going to be even more crazy. So now let's see, Texas alone. How many cons did you do here in just Austin? Because I know we saw you CTX. At CTX, I think it's only the two in Austin. That Maybe was the two? no, no. Oh wait, did you go to Anime Austin? <clears throat> No, I'm sorry. It was CTX. It was CTX and this and IkiCon. Okay. So uh, I think those are the only two that I did in in Austin this year. Right. I think if I remember. But you know what? That's what AnimeCons.com is for. Oh my God! Isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing. I love AnimeCons.com. So we had to link that to our Google calendar because. It really helps. It really helps a lot, and it's a good resource to see, like, you know, if you want to meet your favorite voice actor, like what conventions they're going to, what conventions they have been to. You know, it's it's really great. The whole website, I think, is very well put together. Yeah, no, we <coughs> had to because we these all start to become one long mm -hmm. weekend to us. Mm -hmm. Like, you go one weekend here, and then we come back and be here for a few days, and then I'm leaving for the next mm -hmm. one. I'm going to fly out Thursday night. I was like, it's all just been one long weekend. Yeah, you kind of feel like, didn't I just see you? But then I didn't see you until, like, last year you know like it's yeah. it's it's just one of those things so I love it. No, I love <laughs> it. so this year yes. let's ask you we're gonna we're gonna actually shoot a podcast tonight where we're gonna talk about our favorite animes movies video games of the year really you got any favorites this year okay now movies or tv series Hit me up. <clears throat> okay so well am i watching anything new i'm trying to think well wait like are we just talking anime or live action Live action anime. Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> well, I I think I'm planning on seeing The Disaster Artist. Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Have you seen The Disaster Artist? You yeah, I'm getting the it. thumbs up. I'm going to the, oh my God, off you camera. See so. it on the big screen. The, on the big screen, okay. One, this is, there's this thing we're doing where it's like, everybody asks me, was it worth 15 bucks? Yes. Was it really? Yes. No, I went and, no, I seriously went and watched it at the Alamo Draft House. Okay. I've movie. heard great things. Is, wait, okay, so the Alma Draft House, is that where you order? You can order the food? I've been there once, I think, and I loved it. It was awesome. Food it's really cool. Uh, what was it? So I saw The Last Jedi. Good one. I liked it. Yeah. I actually liked it. I, I, don't, I don't really know why people had problems with it, but, you know, 
yeah, can't I mean, be perfect, but I, I liked it. I thought the, um, <clears throat> oh, I can't say anything because I don't want to spoil it, but uh, I really liked it. I, I enjoyed it. I, I don't know if it's my favorite out of them, but it's, I think it's up there. I certainly liked yeah. it more than the prequels. Um, you know, I, I did. I mean, I actually did like Revenge of the Sith out of the three. If I had to pick, it would be Revenge of the Sith. Um, but I really actually did like Last Jedi. I thought it was really good. I did too. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. <clears throat> Any, uh, Henry, what did you, did you, did you have time to even really watch it? Probably Jedi? not. I, I'm so sad. I still haven't, uh, I still haven't gotten a chance to see your name yet, which I've heard is absolutely amazing. Did you cry? Yes. Yeah, I've heard everybody cried yes. when they saw it. <laughs> no, it was, it was, uh, I actually took off work. I did you? Made, uh, yeah, like. How you the eleven thirty showing on that Friday Aww. took vacation and went and I was like, eh, not that many people were gonna be here and I didn't all of a sudden remember, you live in Austin. <laughs> and it was a theater full of grown men. And Aww. I'm not saying all of them cried, but I don't remember too many cries. And if they did, that's okay. Yeah, no, it's definitely okay to cry. If you know me, you know this already. I will cry over the saddest like Reed and I get mad. He gets mad at me because I'm always telling him, you should watch this. Feels, no. Ah, I'm like, feels? No, really, you should watch nope. it. Nope, not dealing with it. I don't know about this. I'm, I'm honestly, you know, I try to remember all the movies that I've seen. I'll be honest with you. Ooh, okay, so it's not a new movie, but I saw Logan for the first time. Logan was so good. Wasn't Logan so was really much, good. It was the greatest mm. way to send him out. I think so, but, but that kind of makes me think, though, that... What is the, what are they going to do when Deadpool wants to have Wolverine? You know, like, are they going to bring in Wolverine or are they not? Because they have to. They have to bring in Wolverine at some point, especially now that Disney owns Marvel. Wait, wait, no, what what with just happened? Disney, they just bought out all of 20th Century. Fox that's it. That's it. Yeah. The X Men. The the whole. Universe. So now they can put all the characters in the movies together, which is going to be. You know. It's Oh, of course. It has to happen. It has to. Hugh Jackman, it has to happen. I know you're retired now from Wolverine. I don't care. You got to do it. I, He's not, mm. I want to know who they would even try. Like, we were having a discussion about who they even bring in to be the next Wolverine. I said, I don't know, but I feel bad for the guy. I don't, I don't know if they're thinking about that yet, per se, but I really hope that, because, you know, he makes fun of Hugh Jackman a whole lot as Deadpool, so I really hope that they bring... Him in, it's you know. Even if it's one film. Mm-hmm. We'll just need him on screen for mm -hmm. one film. And then we'll be good to go. And, and then we'll be good to go. You can bring in the new kid <clears throat> after that, but I just need you, Jack, to get mocked. <laughs> one film. That's right? Or just have them interact with each other. That would be absolutely amazing. But I don't remember the actress's name, but the girl who played X-23. Yes. She stole my heart. She was absolutely amazing in that film. I cried. I don't... It takes a lot for me to cry really? at movies. Like, I feel, I get the feels, but it takes a lot for me to flat out cry. Oh, you're talking about where it's like, like ugly cry. Oh, okay. Like yeah. ugly cry. Like, uh, I think I ugly cry at Armageddon, the end of Armageddon, every single time. Uh, okay. The Secret Garden. Do you remember The Secret Garden? I do. Um, okay. The King and I. I don't know if you've seen The King and I. I have. I, I don't like cry on that. You don't ugly cry I on that? He cry. dies! Nah, I still didn't ugly cry. Aww. I did ugly cry on a film called A Lesson Before Dying. It yeah. was one of the Oprah Book of the Month clubs. Oh! Ugly. I mean, like, I love Oprah. <laughs> like, 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 I ugly cry? punished Aww. by my mama. I cried in that one. It was I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Oh, that's yeah. That's the worst thing to hear from a parent. It's yeah, awful. That's um, <laughs> I, I don't know though, I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any new anime series that I saw this year. I still need to see Yuri on Ice. I haven't seen it, but I've heard it's really good. I've heard it's really, really good. Um, and uh, what's the other one? Uh, uh, the new one that just came out, The Bride, Ma Magus, the Bride? Magus Bride? Yeah, that, that's it, yeah. Amazing. Is it? Yeah. I've heard it, it looks beautiful. It is the, the soundtrack. Storyline is dealing to me. This is where it kind of transcends that art thing mm -hmm. because they're having a great discussion about death and legacy. Really? Every week, and how 
the smallest thing affect the person's life. Mm -hmm. they're, they're dealing with some really great subject matter. That's great. I think I, we're going to be talking about that in a couple of years. Like, this is a classic now. I'm really glad because, you know, I'm glad that anime has blown up so much in the last, like, 15 mm -hmm. years. Uh, because I know that um, when I was in middle school, all we had was Toonami. We just had Sailor Moon, Dragon Ball Z, uh, uh, Gundam Wing, and Tenchi Muyo. And I, I loved all those shows, but I got tired of watching the same thing over and over again. But now we have so much to choose from. So I know, especially if you have the Funimation account, it's like Netflix for anime. It's ridiculous. It's awesome. So they're going. They're giving me the sign. We're going to be getting you out of here. But All right. I need to know where, can, where are they going to see you next? Well, uh, convention-wise. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Um, 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 where are they going to see me convention-wise? I know. I know. Come on, brain work. Wait, I'm going to cheat. What? Oh my That's gosh. <laughs> um, let's see. I think the next con I'm going to be at mm -hmm. is Albuquerque Comic Con, actually. Oh, and that is obviously going to be in Albuquerque. And then I'm actually going to be at a Taste of Animathon in Canada. Okay. Actually. And then, um, what's the other one? I'm trying to remember. I lose track. I have so many conventions lined up. But you guys can find me uh, at my Twitter, Lauren underscore A underscore Landa. Uh, it is private, but you can request to follow me and all that. And I take a while to, unfortunately, accept friend requests. Oh, you know. I know. No. <laughs> But it's not out of it's not because I don't love you. No, it's because you I have so many it, followers. You also said the same thing. You like you just don't social media well. I really don't. I you know all of my pages are, are private and and I do I am kind of working towards getting over the anxiety of like making my Twitter public and all that. It's really just anxiety when it comes to social media. So you know it sucks, but. And it was really a weird feeling because I didn't know if I liked it or if she just had bad taste in men. And I was just like, <laughs> you can stalk so much Honey, she doesn't anyway. have bad taste in men. <laughs> <laughs> you can turn the camera off. This interview's over. I love her. All right. All right, guys. We're going to get out of here. Thank you so much for doing this with us. Thanks for having me Thank again. Thank you so much for scaring Lucy. That was amazing. I was yeah. amazing. I loved it. And she loved it, too. And yeah. Reed loved it, too. Good. Reed lost it. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you guys for watching. At the bottom of the screen, you know how we always tell that thing. Wait, where is it? Is it going to be like right here? Somewhere. Like right here. Okay, Just okay. say subscribe. You keep asking us to do these videos and we need you to subscribe. Or I'm going to quit doing these videos. No! And then I'm going to stalk her professional. And she's <laughs> gonna, he's going to make me really sad if he stops doing these videos. So please subscribe. You don't want to make me sad, do you? There we go. There <laughs> now people are going to leave in the comments, yeah, we don't care if you're yeah. sad or not. We want him to quit, but we don't want this. <laughs> I love y'all. We'll see you and thank you. Happy New Year! <laughs>